first of all, to start off is uh, last night, Jacques Smith uh, fractured his thumb. So uh, today he underwent surgery. Um, very successful. Uh, we'll see how the body heals, but timetable is about four to six weeks, and we'll see how he progresses. So uh, again, he went through that today. So that occurred on the uh, last part of practice. Um, that's football, and uh, gives another person another opportunity to develop. And uh, already saw Jock. He's in great spirits and looking forward to uh, to getting back. Uh, in terms of tonight, tonight's practice, I thought very productive. A lot of situational football, one minute offense, some goal line, third down in the in the red zone, some third down and goal line situations as well. You know, really trying again to create some adverse situations. And that's our job as coaches to make sure we put our players in those type of situations and see how they handle it. I think the big thing is, is I want to see just our overall intensity level. Can we sustain the physicality and the intensity level that we require throughout the course of practice? And then obviously that lends itself, I said a couple days ago, to winning games in the fourth quarter. Um, I think the big thing still that's missing is details, you know, and, uh, and just overall consistency. Tonight we had way too many drop passes. You know, we chart balls in the ground. We had way too many. And uh, so, again, we have to come back. We have to work to improve on that. Just a whole high level of consistency and performance, you know, and it's the intensity, it's the physicality uh, with everything that we do. Uh, very, very encouraged by our two freshman quarterbacks. Uh, they continue to progress. We put them in some stressful situations tonight and uh, really like the way they're developing. Our two freshman corners, uh, Cam Sutton and Malik Foreman, uh, again, very, very encouraged by what I see in them. And I think right now they're gaining a lot of confidence uh, as we continue to progress throughout training camp. But, uh, you know, the big thing is, is, is it important enough to our players to push through these days of training camp. You know, the leadership now that's required is now obviously their bodies are extremely sore. They're fatigued. We're still in summer school, you know, so we still have a couple days. So, you know, we really haven't been able to go through a full daily routine of training camp yet. And we just concluded practice six. Uh, Saturday will be our first two a day. But the thing that we have to do is continue for them to understand the preparation in the training room, nutritionally, and then finishing summer school the right way as we head into the following week of training camp. So I'll answer any questions you may have. Well, Corey Vereen had, uh, he's undergoing an MRI right now with his knee, so we'll know a little bit more with his status uh, tomorrow. But again, that's football, next man in, and uh, we'll see where that happens uh, tomorrow. But again, it lends itself uh, to more players getting an opportunity. We have some veterans at that position that have played a lot of football here. And uh, the standard will never change whether it's the first team, second team, or third team. You know, we have a standard of expectation at a position and that'll never change no matter who's out there playing for us. Well, I do. You know, you look at Corey Miller, he's played a lot of football here. You know, Marlon Walls has played a lot of football here. And then, uh, you know, uh, some freshmen have to step up as well. You know, Jalen Miller's done a great job. You know, he's shown explosiveness. And, uh, you know, he's gaining more and more valuable reps to see if he can help us as a true freshman. And that's just where we're at in the program. I've talked about it. It's depth, you know. And uh, so some individuals have to step up. But the great thing is, is these individuals are going to be back. You know, we fully anticipate both of them being back. Do you anticipate all three backs in your goal line? You know, all the bill came out on your first depth chart. Right. Marlon Lane was in there. You got to see y'all run that first goal line today. Right. Are you using all three? We will use all three. And uh, eventually we'll start, uh, you know, maybe looking at the possibilities with AJ as well. But, you know, we have three very capable running backs, and they've done a great job in our goal line sets. Which thumb is it, and how limited? It's the right thumb, and it'll see how he progresses. You know, he could, we may have him back for the Austin P game. That's what we're looking towards. And, uh, you know, he may be good to go. So we'll know a little bit more, more further details here in probably about a week or so. Yes. Yeah. 
Wolverine's knee, you mentioned, what, what did they expect in the MRI? It's an MRI, we don't know yet. So we're kind of waiting, you know, everything we do is air on player safety. So, uh, you know, we're waiting to get the results from that. You guys are going to have a day off tomorrow. Kind of what's going to be the schedule? And are those guys pretty excited for that day off? Well, there's no day offs. We don't practice. Yeah. Uh, but uh, first of all, it's academics. You know, with, with Friday being the last day of summer school, but uh, we'll have a full day of lifting and meetings, really get caught up on the installation. And you can, you can really benefit from having a lot of walkthroughs, you know, meeting time, get caught up on the film and really teach. And I look forward to tomorrow because, you know, it's an opportunity to really teach and to get stronger and continue to develop our football team in the weight room. But you mentioned the intensity of pushing through and how it's kind of tougher. So by that same measure, I was like, pretty impressive, but you also mentioned the freshman quarterbacks and the freshman quarterbacks is a price on a night which you know, starting to pile on here. It is, you know, and you know, the installation continues to grow. Your body's tired, and that's where that mental conditioning kicks in, you know, mental and physical toughness. And you have to continue to, to demand. And you got to want to be out there. And it's got to be important to you. And this is where you develop. You know, so the way the freshman quarterbacks have handled it, we put them in pressure situations tonight. And I thought they did a good job for the most part. And just to tie in, you talked a lot about the need to be more physical. How is that? Work in progress. We're still not anywhere where we need to be from a physicality standpoint, by in the, which the manner that we want to play football here at Tennessee. But we're continuing to progress, and we're getting better. And I think the players are taking pride in their performance. They're taking pride in their physicality. You know, and that's the big thing. And uh, but we have to continue to grow in that area. And it's a fine line. You know, we have to be a better tackling football team. You know, so and then also, you know, your health and your depth. So there's a lot of things when you plan a practice structure that goes into that practice structure. Needs to continue to progress. Uh, not where he needs to be, but uh, we do see improvement. You know, the want to is there. You know, so he's an individual with great character, extremely competitive, and so that'll come with time. He just needs to continue to practice and living in that area, that arena all the time. I think it's any new player, you know, that comes in, whether it's a junior college player, whether it's a true freshman, is the level of physicality that it takes to play uh, here that we demand. And uh, he'll get it because he's eager and he's willing and he wants to be coached. His size, blocking ability, is that kind of like a, a niche thing that he can use to maybe advance himself in the offense? Well, he has to. You know, Jason Kroom is, is a big wide receiver. He has to do a better job of playing big. You know, we expect him to play big. You know, the way he blocks, but also the way he runs routes, the way he catches the football, the way he'll go up and get the ball in the air, you know, and owning that football. And he has to play big. He, he's 220 plus pounds and he has to play that way, and we're working towards that. He's another individual who takes coaching. We just need to expect and demand more from him, and we'll get that. Where are you in the kicking game right now? Are you prepared for Marty to still do everything? They're still working. You know, it, there, there's no jobs that are set in stone. Um, we'll have a big day on Saturday. We'll do a lot of special team scrimmage situations, and then we'll have a scrimmage Saturday, Saturday evening, and we'll have SEC officials here. So. The next few days in the development of this football team are going to be critical. Do reps start tightening up after that first scrimmage? Yes. You know, we'll know a little bit more where we're at after Saturday. Uh, we'll grade the film and we'll kind of start from ground zero again with installation. But now we're working towards getting game ready. Like I told every individual, Saturday's game day for a lot of individuals. Really, really interested to see where we come special teams. And that's going to be a big day for us Saturday. Exactly right. No, you know, that's a precautionary measure that we take with our quarterbacks, you know, with four quarterbacks in camp. You know, they've had an abundance of throwing, and so we pick our spots uh, to rest their arms. So, you know, Nate went through all the drills but didn't do any throwing. And then we'll do the same in, in the next day with Justin. And then it lends itself to getting the two freshmen valuable repetitions as well. You were going through the other description today saying 
this is a big day, this is a big day, you know, Alabama had two days of full pads. Is because Saturday, is, is that a, a product of Saturday or because it's the end of six straight days of practice? I think, first of all, we only concern ourselves with who we are, you know, and so it's just a measure of these guys understanding that every day is important. There are no off days. You know, your mental effort, your mental intensity, your mental focus, your toughness, you have to live it every single day. You know, to be a team that we need to be, we have to have a very high level of consistency. We can't be an emotional football team. We need to be a passionate football team. And we have to demand from each other. So every day is important. And teams that struggle throughout the course of a long season, they're very inconsistent. And so I want a workmanlike, business-like approach every day that the only thing matters is the now, is today. We have to win the day. And so that's just a, a deal to get everyone snapped and focused. That's all that is. One more. Coach, in that brick by brick analogy, what would be the foundation brick that you start with to build? A mentality, you know, a, a workmanlike mentality each and every day, a passion, a desire to get better each and every day. And uh, if you do that, you'll improve. And I think comes with that accountability. But also, I think in that foundational piece is a pride of who we are, is who they're representing on a day-to-day -day basis. So, but I think the, the thing is just the mental focus, the intensity that it takes to play at a championship level each and every day. You look at every championship team, you look at every great player, they're different. They have an edge about themselves. The way they approach the day, the way they approach practice, they're wired differently. And that's what we expect here. Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you.